Hey guys and welcome. Today on ATPL Theory we're going to be talking about compressor surges and stalls, also known as an engine stall or surge. You may have heard one, you may have even experienced one in an aircraft where you hear a loud bang and you can even see flames coming out uh, the front and the rear of the engine. So what is a compressor surge or a compressor stall? It's essentially a breakdown of the airflow inside the engine. We have various compressor stages that compress the air generating a lot of high pressure and if that airflow breaks down, just like a wing could stall, the compressor blades could stall. What that generates is a large area of high pressure inside the engine, which can explosively vacate the engine both through the rear and out the front. Normally, of course, the airflow in green would be entering the front of the engine, being compressed down, mixed with the fuel, expanded, and sent out the back, generating our thrust. However, if that airflow breaks down in one of the compressors, and it's generally referred to as compressor stall or compressor surge, not engine surge, because it normally happens in one of the compressor stages. So that breakdown, like I've said, creates a loud bang as the engine stops generating uh, thrust, and you can generally see flames coming out the front and rear of the engine, more predominantly at low altitudes and high power settings during a takeoff, for example. At high altitude, it can happen when you're leveling off or when you're changing altitudes after a cruise. So why do these surges or stalls occur? There can be various reasons. Bird strikes, internal engine failures, internal clearance issues, and it can also happen due to a bleed malfunction. So there are three categories of compressor stalls or surges. There's the recoverable surge, where no crew action is required. There's a recoverable stall or surge which requires crew action. That could be the EGT may continue to rise after a stall uh, and is not showing signs of stabilizing itself. The correct action in the second case would be to slowly retard the thrust lever, not close, slowly retard the thrust lever, and then once the engine has recovered, slowly increase the power again. If after the reapplication of thrust, the engine seems to be fine and it's not stalling anymore, then you can continue to fly the aircraft. If after you increase the power, the engine continues to stall or surge, you may need to operate the engine at a lower thrust setting. The third situation would be a non-recoverable one where an engine would need to be shut down. This would be indicated by the EGT being uncontrollable or the surges or stalls continuing regardless of whether you retard the throttle or not. In this case, an engine shutdown is necessary. Now, the biggest problem with air compressor stalls or surges is inappropriate crew action, in my opinion. There have been accidents or incidences where crew have inappropriately shut down an engine uh, when it wasn't necessary. The last action should be to shut down an engine. In most cases, a stall or surge will correct itself. There have been instances where crews have aborted a takeoff after V1 uh, due to an engine stall or surge. This, of course, should be taken up into the air. And there have been instances where crews have unnecessarily shut down an engine, causing themselves more problems. If the engine is still operating, even at a lower thrust setting, it's best to leave it there. If the engine is operating, it's going to generate at least a little bit of thrust, and you're going to have a lot less drag to deal with. It's just a better scenario for you to fly the aircraft with. hope you've enjoyed this video and it's clarified a little bit about what a compressor stall or surge is. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. All the best. Till next time.